Hey gang, welcome back. It is I, Dr. Bosky, and today we're talking about how to set up parallaxing backgrounds in Shmup Creator. Uh, and this, these are the backgrounds that you have that are put into what's called the Skybox. It's a 3D engine, so people are aware. So it's, these are the furthest planes, and these are the planes that move. So we uh, let's let's jump over into it real quick. All right, so um, quick shout out. This is a Discord server for Shmup Creator. Amazing community. Hello out there to everyone. Thank you very much. So a question came up the other day and then the question was, is it possible to have a longer scrolling background loops? Been playing with different resolutions, but all my scrolling backgrounds seem to loop rather quickly. If I make a long rectangle image, it tends to just zoom out and then details loop quickly. I'm trying to make a long graphic, some more variety uh, passes the camera, thus making the looping less obvious. Yeah, so um, since Sony, Sony commented uh, maybe using the wrong level parallax of try horizontal or vertical, um, Angel said, is there a resolution you can recommend for optimal scrolling? Um, I could do 512 by 2048. Um, it should be your first resolution. Uh, it depends on if you're vertical or horizontal. So your uh, first uh, resolution is width and then height, of course, um, and use it as vertical level. Uh, the 2048 comes in handy when making it scroll longer uh, and take more time to repeat its loop. Yeah, totally. Uh, and then I said, I asked, uh, I said, correct me if I'm wrong, um, background images are clamped to the screen size and only adjust for vertical or horizontal. So if your target resolution is 1920 by 1080 and you pick a resolution larger than that, you'd be wasting texture resolution in those cases. So, uh, and then I got me thinking, so Sunny responded and said, don't go over 8K, very important, um, and ideally not over 4K. Pictures are clamped either horizontally uh, or vertically so you can have uh, a picture bigger being bigger than the screen height for a vertical shooter for example also keep in mind that the sprites zoom will scale the pictures for the resolution it depends on your art style if you want to have modern p precise graphics try to match the end user default resolution if you want to do pixel art try different size and sprite zoom until you are happy the engine will try to keep the pixel size the same even with the different screen resolution so and then i started thinking about this because i i when i said my i did some tests early on and uh, this is what i encourage you to do and this is going to walk you through this so um you should set up a test image so you can understand how it goes into the to the engine um and then um so i thought i'd walk you through kind of how i wound up doing that because i was like hey wait a minute i for the most part target 19 by 20 by 1080 and i'm a horizontal uh shmup in this case and um sometimes uh i will go in depending on the level of detail i will set my clamping to vertical so why don't i jump over and show you my setup so first of all just in photoshop so we basically created an image. Uh, in this case, I went uh, just under 8K. So uh, 7680 uh, multiples of 1920 um, in the width axis, and then the height was 1080. Uh, and then all I did here is I went in and I created images that were 1920 by 1080. I labeled them as screen one. And then I wanted to make sure there was no scaling um, that uh, in terms of um, aspect ratio. So I added these perfect circles and then I basically created one long image and then I basically screen two, screen three, screen four. So I saved all that out, popped over to the engine. And uh, this isn't a full crash course on uh, parallax layers, but I thought I would show you. So you go to level properties. So this is, you know, it's all experimentation. It's easy to do, but it takes time to wrap your head around how the engine does its layering. So what I have done, a little pro tip for you is that in my own parallax layers, um, Oh, let's go back to the camera view. So um, here you can see, um, so I, I started, I have the camera stopped at this point and then when the camera moves, it's just one of my things for a challenge level. Uh, you can see that each of the layers, each of the layers um, parallaxes independently. So this isn't really uh, to walk you through full setup. I can do a video on how I set up my backgrounds. If someone's interested, leave a comment in the in below. Otherwise, um, I just want to show you this because here in, uh, in your level properties under level, and uh, under settings. So you have parallax scrolling and uh, it's always a nice little pro tip to, um, so this, this is my level, level two, and then to add your layers. So this is easy for you, better for you to keep in mind. So because it's listed scrolling one, scrolling two, so I just layer one, layer two, level three, layer three, four, five. So then I understand when I'm compositing my images, how they should uh, layer and what the image they, um, parallaxing looks like. And then here you have your scroll speeds and offsets, but more importantly, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> need a little drink of coffee. More importantly, you have the uh, the fit option. 
which you can fit horizontally. So this clamps, and I'll show you the test image here in, in, in a second, or you can set it to fit vertically, um, and this unclamps. Uh, so that image that we made in Photoshop, it was called 760, uh, 7680 by 8, 1080 test. Put this in the, the front layer. So this is the, oh, the foremost front layer to the camera. <clears throat> Again, these are skybox uh, layers. So, uh, and then here you can tell, so um, basically that it's one giant image, right? And if you, if I just pause it real quick, um, you can see that it basically is, it's a hundred percent mapped to the, uh, to the camera. So my camera resolution, it's full screen in this case is 1920 by 1080. Maybe I should show you that too. So it's worth going into game settings. So you can set your game screen ratio. <coughs> to 16 by nine, four by three, three by four, or the whole screen. Your game orientation is horizontal in our case, or vertical. Uh, and uh, so that, again, we were looking at our, our case here. And something also that's important is, uh, I think by default, the sprite zoom is set to two. Um, and if you, um, so this gives a scale to everything and I'll, I'll go over that setting here in a second as well. So, but these are your uh, important uh, parameters to configure. It's good to work this stuff out before you start doing gameplay because if you change things like the game camera in the world, it changes, it can change some of the logic you set up depending on how you set up your levels and whatnot. So uh, the more complex you get, the more challenges you'll have in changing this later on, which is one of the mistakes we made is that we ported over our system from an adventure shmup um, style, which had a different set for um, resolution and background images uh, to our, our new shmup. And we didn't really reconfigure um, the uh, the background images and a few other things. Uh, so I'm, I'm paying for that now. I'm probably gonna do a retrofit, but anyways. So back to where we're at. So you saw this. So that you can tell this is totally 100% um, um, clamped and it's one big image, so it's if you're horizontal. But if you change the, to fit vertically, you can tell now that now, um, we we'll just go, we'll go forward here. Bloop. So you can tell that basically every screen is now one, one of our logical resolutions of 1920 by 1080, right? So and we get the much bigger texture resolution. So this gives us way more uh, ability to put details into the background image to, uh, to increase the, the repetitive or decrease the repetitiveness of the screen, just scrolling and then seeing the same thing with the next screen. So if you also are noticing, so if you take a look here, um, so look at these, those are scaling artifacts. So if you look at where we're at in Photoshop, I mean, yes, we have a little bit of aliasing, but this is when you're really, really low. So, and it's, you have anti-aliasing, of course. So, um, but when you're, when you're basically, uh, when you're basically one screen, you barely notice the aliasing there, right? So, um, and this is because in the engine, we have set, uh, what's the wrong one? We have set sprites zoom too. So if you have, if you're using low, if you're using like a pixel art style and you want the pixel art style, the pixel art to uh, be bigger in game and not the actual resolution, then you'll use, uh, you'll use your sprite zoom here. So if I change this to one, so you'll notice that it automatically it changes all of our sprites in the world. So like, here's our player uh, ship here, but notice that now we don't have a scale factor on on um on the background uh, images so yeah i think i hope that helps people um kind of understand um uh, where we're at with um, and what you can do um also it's probably worth noting right is that we have a 1920 by 1080 uh frame or uh, sorry image um uh, and one of the things i also added to the photoshop file let me get this out of uh full screen real quick go also worth noting um so you'll notice here that we have we also added green borders to understand where uh, we're at right so you can tell when with this big image um that uh you if we use the vertical clamping you can't see the top and bottom all right so you have to keep that in mind when um uh if you're setting up your images to be vertical um in terms of the clamping or not so if you set it again here to fit vertically versus horizontally. If you go to horizontal, um, and I think is that right there? Let me take a look. Mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, so in both cases, um, you can tell that while um, we're set to aspect ratio 16 by 9, and the aspect ratio of the image is uh, is also um, is also uh, 16 by 9, because 1920 by 1080 is 16 by 9, um, that uh, the way, did I just move that? <laughs> Whoops, I just moved my canvas in OBS. Uh, so you can see here that, um, that the image is tiling, right? Um, and uh, you can see from horizontal, and then um, and then just it tiles um, tiles vertically here, right? So when you're set into horizontal, um, I know it can be a little co confusing, but the main takeaway that you guys should be aware of is set your images, set them in your graphics program, be precise with your resolution and your aspect ratio, and then test how things fit in the camera, um, and be be scientific about it because when you want to come back to this later on to make changes or you want to update your art assets if you're working in it with temporary assets up front you'll want to be able to have this kind of precision to make the best decisions for the type of style um, and game that you want to make so uh, yeah I think that's it if there are questions comments feel free to leave them in the, down in the description we'll, we usually make it a, a chance I make it a point to check comments uh, at least daily and uh, to everyone else out there that's been watching and following on thank you very much thank you for subscribing and following the channel and just being part of this cool journey and uh, thank you uh, to Sunny and crew for making such a wonderful tool we're going to get some really cool updates coming uh, here in the future and uh, yeah we'll catch you next time